Welcome to Toffee TV, it's the instant match reaction, Everton won, Southampton won, absolutely terrible game, uh, somehow managed to score a last minute equaliser, I think that game just basically shows what the real Everton is and I hope all those pundits out there who've been waxing lyrical about Sam Allardyce uh, and watched that today and noticed how terrible we are without the likes of Theo Wolcott playing for us, we've got nothing about us at all, we're just, we just players just play, there's no pattern, there's nothing, nothing about us at all, it's absolutely grim. Um, we benefited from a deflection in the last minute, I think that was our third shot on target in the entire game against a team that are possibly destined for relegation, uh, it's absolutely grim. The fans made their thoughts here today, their voices here today with the songs towards Sam Allardyce, it's just not good enough, it's absolutely abysmal to be honest. Um, what can you say? The fans don't want him here, or the majority of fans don't want him. They don't want to be watching that kind of football. It's absolutely rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. And uh, no surprise that on the 78th minute when there was a planned walkout, he brought on Davy Classen. Classic Allardyce, classic, you know, diversion tactics. But the football is, is absolutely rubbish. Michelle was here to see it first hand. Fans want to change, fans want to be entertained, but they want to be entertained and move up the table. Why can't you have both? You can. People, too many people looking at it and going, well, you can't, we can. And what makes me laugh is someone like Pugh, uh, Leicester, the media actively trying to get rid of them. They could still finish above us, I think, or well, they could anyway, or well, they'll finish one place behind us. Has he done any worse job than Allardyce? Does he serve up any worse football than Allardyce? I don't know, but the point is, is that the, the, the media don't like him because he doesn't give them, you know, boss quips in um, uh, press conferences, etc. It's not good enough. We expect, we expect and deserve more as Evertonians, and hopefully we'll get that next season. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.